Okay, for our next animation video, we are going to be using the motion tween again. I'm showing you a couple other things. So in Photoshop, I've cut out this Spider-Man um, from this new video game that just came out. I've cloned his web to make it longer, so we can have it swing. Uh, we can have him kind of like swing into the city scene and uh, animate it that way. So. We're going to import, actually I've already done that, so I've imported these assets. Um, you can see in the preview window what it's going to look like. We've got the background, we've got Spider-Man, we've got um, an image here of New York City. So if you have not used this site before, I would highly recommend it. Unsplash.com, um, you can use photos for a variety of uses, you can um, credit photographers um, but it's all free so it's a great alternative to using other websites where you have to pay for those images so if we go back to animate so I've set up my stage as 400 pixels height 800 pixels in width again I'm going to okay I've just renamed my layers I'm going to do the same as before drag out my JPEG image now this image is quite a bit larger than my stage, so I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller, back to 100%. So again, I want to have this image kind of move in here. So it's going to do the same thing as the, um, the Ferdinand animation. I would like Spider-Man's gonna fly in here. <clears throat> Drag Spider-Man out. I'll make him a little bit smaller as well. Okay, so Spider-Man's gonna fly in here. And kind of end around here. So if this building is moving or this scene is moving across. I would like this Empire State Building kind of iconic image of New York City. I'd rather he wasn't in front of it. So I will hide Spider-Man for a moment. Select my image, modify, transform, flip horizontal. So now it just kind of looks like he's flying from he's gonna fly in from the other side of the city. Okay, so I'll move that image over. Again, I will add some time here. Maybe we'll go to 120 frames. That'll be five seconds. 120 frames, five seconds. I'll move this back. I can make the background move. So F8. Again, I'll just make this a motion tween. I'm going to make the background slide across, preview it. Okay, so I might have a little bit of uh, cleanup to do if I was going to go back to this Photoshop document. I didn't realize that there was uh, some pieces hanging on there. So the way he's cut out, I'm, I terribly love the uh, fact that he's outlined in, in red a little bit. Um, but I do like the way that the background is moving. It gives it a little more, more of an interesting uh, look to it. So for Spider-Man, I'm going to hide the background temporarily. I'm going to take Spider-Man, move him up here. I'm going to do the same thing, F8. Spider-Man a movie clip, right click, create a motion, now I want Spider-Man to kind of, I don't want him to come in on a really, just a straight diagonal, I would like him to kind of swing in here, so I'm going to start him off here, I'd like him to end kind of here. Got my auto recovery going on here. So 
I'll start him here. Move my playhead to the end. Now, if I move it to the end and then I move him here. So I've got my motion path here and you can see my cursor change. Give me an indication that I can kind of make him fly in like that. Bend it. See what this looks like. Okay, I like this. He's swinging in, but a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do is I can move this keyframe, just deselect that whole area. I click on that once. I hover over top of it. You can see the cursor has changed, indicating I can move this keyframe. And maybe I'll move it back here. So it's going to fly in a little bit faster. Let's see how it looks. And then it's just going to pause a little bit here. But he's... And not terribly happy with it, so I'm going to even move it back just a little bit more. So, as he's swinging in, I could also change the size of Spider-Man. in the beginning just slightly again checking it when we're working with animation we constantly want to check to see how this is going to appear so it's changed the size of spider-man for the entire clip Let's see if we can change him here a little bit larger So he's growing in size as he's getting closer to the camera. Okay, so um, that one I don't need to check again. I'm going to take the background and I'm going to hide Spider-Man. Actually, I'm going to lock him and hide him. Um, so as, as the city moves, he's we don't want the camera to move. Um, just uniform like that. So I'm going to just try and bend this a little bit as well. So we'll see what that looks like. So I like it that it's moving. I think I should undo. Command Z, and I'm going to actually bend it the other way. It'll look better. Because as he's swinging through, it appears if he's moving upwards and the city is moving down. Now, because I cut this out, the background was red to begin with. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to bring in this background temporarily. I'm going to create a new layer. I'll lock my background. I want to sample this color here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to my color panel. I'm going to go to a linear gradient. And let's see. So I'm going to select this red. Every color has a code. Oops. Sorry. Every color has a code, so we're just going to copy that, control C, go back up here, I'll go linear gradient, and I'll make the white one act 
active. So instead of white, it's going to go to this color, enter. So I've got this linear gradient. Um, I don't need this anymore. I'll delete it. I'll select this. Now, I can't change the alpha. I am going to press F8. Now I can change the alpha. So even though it's not going to move, I'm just going to have this um, Okay, so it'll be zero, right click, motion tween. When he flies in here, I want it right after that, I'm gonna have it change to 100. I mean, well, not 100%, but maybe I'll change it to 80. We'll see how that looks. Okay, so I can scrub through my timeline here, and here we go, we'll see how it looks. Still a little bit visible. If I was going to keep this, I'd probably go back into Photoshop, clean that up a little bit, and then re-import it. So there we go. Since animation repeats, we'll do some put in some stop action script uh, in a later video.